Hey everybody, Scott here from G-System Videos. It is Wednesday, and today I'm not doing anything G-System related by any stretch. Yeah, today I'm, uh, I'm going to show you the rack rig, which is still here. I didn't sell it after all. I decided to keep it and use it for the live band for rehearsals and gigs. That way I can keep it at rehearsal, move it from there to the gigs, not ever have to bring it up and down three flights of stairs again. I just can't, I can't take it anymore. My shoulders can't take it. My back can't take it. Fuck that shit. So uh, let's go to the rack. I'll show you what I've done. Check it out. There's the new unit, and uh, you can maybe tell that there's a bit of a 60 cycle hum going on here. I hope this sort of clears up when I uh, go to rehearsal. If not, I'm going to have to take some steps, get some EvTech stuff. We'll see. Uh, so, yeah, it's a Digitech quad, uh, studio quad, and it gives you four different uh, effects at the same time. You can choose between, you know, reverb, uh, chorus, delay, detune, uh, flange, phaser, a lot of the basic stuff. It doesn't have a ton of bells and whistles. Um, I was able to uh, get the MIDI happening, so on channel one, because I'm only going to be using four channels for this, uh, for this gig, so channel one automatically goes to number two, two to three, three to four, and four to five on that unit. And that's, you know, basically the gain structure. This is my clean sound. It's reverb, delay, chorus, and EQ. That's what I'm using on all four of the uh, all four of the presets, starting with the EQ actually. And uh, there are varying amounts of effects. So what the GMP1 does that's really neat is it gives it's got an effect button over here. So you can go from zero to twelve with the amount of uh, the effects in the effects loop. So for uh, preset one here. It's going to have the absolute most. And then as we go to the next one, less and less. Three. Whoops. That's not that's supposed to be less. Oh, shit. Let's throw that. And then four is supposed to be even less, but it's not. This is stuff that I need to iron out at rehearsal. So, uh, yeah, and uh, I'm going to play you another clip of, uh, here's number two. Finally, number four. That's the heaviest preset I use, and it's not all that heavy. I don't, uh, I don't play terribly uh, overdriven stuff. I like it to be punchy and crunchy, but not overly saturated. I, uh, I just don't need it. I'd rather hear the guitar rather than you know the amp balls to the wall. So here's the last one. Thank you. 
Okay, a couple of cool things about the uh, the quad, the Studio Quad here, is it gives you gives you some routing options. Right now, because uh, it's got four inputs and four outputs, it's you know it was originally meant to be used you know with a mixing console and uh, with aux sends, so you can you know come in and out and run it onto four separate faders. But uh, what I'm doing is I'm coming in on one, then doing all of my uh, uh, effects parallel and then out left and right. And I've tried them in series, they didn't sound as good. I like them better parallel. Uh, the, the signals are just more discreet, I should say, the effects. And uh, they get less mashed together than uh, when run in series. And uh, it's got uh, pretty intuitive menus, it's super easy to use. I figured it out in 20 minutes of monkeying around with it, how to, you know, set up the MIDI, create presets, assign the MIDI programming map. It's very basic. There you go. New piece of gear. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's pretty good. Um, it's got some MIDI issues that are kind of a drag, some lag and whatnot, but it's, you know, it's 20 years old. So what do you expect? And I spent $120 on this thing. Uh, I don't need a ton of bells and whistles for the live gigs anymore. I just need a little bit of reverb, delay, and chorus for my clean. A little less for the uh, heavy and then, you know, down the line. So that's what I'm doing. Now, uh, that thing's going to go and live at rehearsal. I won't have to see it again for a while, which is good. Um, this is supposed to be going pretty soon. It's going to be replaced by a Carvin Vintage 16. Hopefully I'll have videos on that next week. Um, I got to get back to doing some custom presets now. I've been shirking my responsibilities all day. Sorry. But uh, trying to get some sounds out of this sucker. I've still got to do some EQing with it, that's for sure. Uh, I'm taking it to rehearsal early on Thursday. I'm going to uh, do some, you know, really loud monkeying around with it, and then, you know, tweak it. It'll be good. I have no doubt. So there you go. I will be back on Friday with something, probably some custom presets. So until then, rock on.